Hello, uh, this is Marshalee and welcome to my garden diary. Today is the 11th of May and I just want to go quickly through the garden and just highlight some of the purple um, blooms that are here. There are different shades of purple, um, lavender, lila or lilac, however you want. And, and this one is a uh, um, iris and I really uh, just like the delicate um, color that this has and if, if you go in closely um, there are some yeah, splashes of white in there but yeah so this is um, um, iris um, I like iris uh, they can be quite um, fast growing so last year I think it was just this was it was a, just a third of what it was um, and now it's and I think I had just like um, not not so many blooms like this year and this year it just exploded so you have to just be careful with with this plant um, that if you're going to plant it in very fertile soil that you make sure that you divide it every year so that it doesn't take over the space that you have it in unless you want it to take over the space that you have it in but it's a really nice early bloomer and um, I have I have actually this um, the iris in three I have yellows and I also have another uh, deeper tone of purple but I think I divided that one last year and it's um, it's not blooming as yet and then uh, we have behind that some alliums and um yeah i alliums are <laughs> they are just so enchanting i don't know it just makes me happy when i look at the alliums and they are just so easy um you just have to divide them i have so many alliums in the garden uh this year and um it's good to divide them because if you don't then they start growing smaller so um, next year, here there are four. I know that if I go down inside, if I dig it up uh, where you see one, um, one bloom, there will be at least like at least two bulbs there. So if you are looking for plants that are easy to divide and are beautiful, then Allium uh, is is one of those plants that you need to have it's also very drought tolerant it stays in the garden until the fall uh, because even when they dry up they are still um, they still look good they will just be brown but they will still have that structure and so um, what else um, here under most of the under most of the trees that I have I have um, I have these asters and as you can see they're quite low <laughs> but they're just so beautiful and impactful um, and these are also easy easy I think I just had many years ago I just had one plant and I just kept um, planting them in different areas and they just keep coming coming back and um, and for wherever you have trees that that uh, you want something that is low maintenance then you can have these um, under uh, the trees they're, they're quite low and of course um, there are also uh, columbines i have different types of columbines these are also quite uh, good plants to have here we have a purple one but i also have uh, many other different colors of course the um, forget-me-nots are all over the garden um, yeah over there I have some more columbines and then as you can see I love alliums so here we have um, quite a lot of alliums because I just keep planting them out dividing them so over the whole garden I have alliums um, in different uh, places um, yeah and of course forget me nuts are sprinkled in there as well and also, also some more purple columbines 
uh, columbines are quite interesting um, little plants. You go up close to them. They are just, I think they're just delicate and quite impactful because these colors you can see uh, from, um, yeah, the colors are so uh, um, vibrant that you can see them in different parts of the, of the garden, wherever you are. And not only that, but the structures are just um, really amazing. Uh, so I planted mine from seeds they're not they're very very easy to plant from seeds and easy they sow themselves out so if you have them in the garden and you have a garden that is uh, that is well watered then you won't have a problem with um, with having them all the time in your garden. and I was not over yeah emphasizing the fact that I have a lot of alliums in the garden and then here we have our um, Clem, um, Clement, Clematis and this is the, the president and I, I just really think that if you don't have one of these you should definitely get one because the, the blooms are really huge. Like I'm not zooming in, in right now and then the way the blooms, the blooms are so staggered look they like they're covering each other and it's just really an impressive uh, picture here you have to for me uh, I had to be patient with the clematis I had to plant them in a different area um, but I think once they're established and I hope that my heart <laughs> um, that um, just make sure that they keep moist the, the roots or yeah it has to be the roots they keep moist and that um, they have enough the the top have uh, uh, blooms and uh, green has enough color and then it shouldn't be a problem uh, so what else purple do i have in the garden right now oh i have the wasaki the clematis um uh, warsa or wasaki i think it's called these are also quite large blooms and a different uh, shades of um, pur uh, purple and uh, again uh, the blooms usually what happen is that the blooms um, start out large the first blooms are quite large and then from my experience last year then the blooms uh, get smaller but hopefully this year because I have uh, I have been giving them uh, fertilizer um, liquid and then hopefully uh, they will it will keep blooming and not only small blooms but you know large blooms as well and uh, there are lots of buds that means that um, yeah these will keep flowering for a while yeah okay oh uh, yeah um, of course I also have the um, the corn bloom that is also very easy and I have had for uh, a very long time in the garden. Um, also, if you like purple, it's quite low. You can have this at the border or at the front of your, of your garden. Um, they need to be well watered. I think some fertilizer doesn't hurt, but this is one of the these plants that if you ignore them it won't look so good but they won't totally die uh, so if you want plants that are low maintenance and um, you don't have to pay too much attention but you still get some blooms then these are good ones but um, if you really want lots of blooms then you need to just keep it watered and I just give them some um, liquid fertilizer when I'm fertilizing other the other plants in the garden okay so that's going to be it for this video i hope that wherever you are that you are enjoying your garden and yeah um and that your um may <laughs> is as um colorful as mine is okay bye see you in the next video